Okay, so in this video we're going to prove by the definition of the derivative that the derivative of the natural log of x is indeed equal to 1 on x. Now this is a formula that you may have learned to memorize in your earlier studies of mathematics. And if you're watching this video, I gather that uh, you're here because you want to know why or how this result exists. So in order to carry out our proof, we need the definition of the derivative, which is df dx, or df by dx, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Later on, we're also going to need the formula that defines the number e. e, which is a very special number, is actually equal to, well, one of the definitions of e is, e is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 on n to the power of n. Okay, so I find this actually quite a fascinating result. So we start with a logarithm and we end up with a simple algebraic expression. So by the definition, the derivative of the log of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the log of x plus h minus the log of x all over h. Now by our log laws, I can write log of a minus log of b as the log of a on b. So we have here then, we copy the limit as h approaches 0 of the log of x plus h over x over h. Now inside the logarithm here I can break this fraction up into its components. The first component being x on x, the second being h on x. x on x reduces to 1 and what I'm going to do now is write this expression a bit more neatly as the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 on h by the log of 1 plus h on x. Now another log law that we can put to use is that a times the log of b, we can rewrite this as log of b to the power of a. Okay, So the coefficient at the front simply moves up to being a power for what's inside the logarithm. So let's copy down the limit as h approaches 0 of now it's going to be the log of 1 plus h over x to the power of 1 over h. Now can you see here, it's starting to look a little bit like this expression here, the definition of the letter e. I'm just going to manipulate it a little bit. So I'm going to make the substitution. I'm going to let, let's use the letter m. Let m equal h over x, which means h is equal to m times x. And here, if h approaches 0, then m also approaches 0. Okay, so if h approaches 0, 0 divided by anything is still equal to 0. So h approaches 0, m equals m also approaches 0. So we can rewrite the limit as... Let's rewrite the derivative. So the derivative of the log of x with respect to x is now equal to the limit as m approaches 0 of the log of 1 plus h over x equals m to the power of 1 over mx. Now the 1 over mx here, I'm going to write as 1 over m by 1 over x. 
And now using this log law the other way around, I can rewrite this as the limit as m approaches 0 of 1 on x by the log of 1 plus m to the power of 1 on m. Okay, so we're getting closer to the mark. This 1 on x is independent of the letter m, so I can write that out in front. I can write this as 1 on x by the limit as m approaches 0 of the log of 1 plus m to the power of 1 on m. And now all we have to do is make what's inside the square brackets here look like the definition of the letter e, of the number e. And to do that let's make another substitution. Let's let the letter n equal 1 over m. So in this case as m approaches 0 n is going to approach a very large number. Okay so for all intents and purposes m is going to approach infinity. So that implies the derivative of the log of x is equal to 1 on x by the limit as n approaches infinity of the log of 1 plus 1 on n so if n equals 1 on m then m equals 1 on n to the power of n and now because n is all inside of the square brackets here. The limit only applies to all the terms with n in it. So I can write this as 1 on x by the log of the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 on n to the power of n. And so by the definition of the number e, this equals 1 on x by the log of e and these two of course cancel each other out log to the base e of e is equal to 1 and this gives us simply 1 on x so that's a very cool result that we've just derived from first principles and we've just proved that the derivative of the natural log of x is equal to 1 on x let's box the answer Okay, so that'll do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've found it useful, hit that like button, subscribe and share it with your study mates. Make my channel famous. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below and I'll help you to the best of my ability. There's a PayPal link in the description if you'd like to make a small donation. I'd really appreciate that. Until next time, best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.